Hi, I'm Kai, I'm with Myriad Group, and today I'm here with Jessica at the Wapoose Estates Winery, and we're gonna learn about wine. So tell us about the winery, Jess. We are the oldest winery here in Prince Edward County. Um, we started growing grapes in 93, and the winery officially opened in 2001. We use 100% Ontario grapes, 90% of which comes from our own vineyard here. Um, our season starts in the spring and goes all the way through up until about September, October, depending on the season when we start our harvesting. That's amazing. And what kind of wine do you make here? We have red wine, white wine, sparkling wine, ice wine. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of Pretty different kinds of wines. <laughs> so should we check out where you make them? Absolutely. Right this all right, way. let's go. All right, Jessica, once we pick the grapes, what happens to them? All the grapes are put into what's called a bladder press. Basically what it is is a big machine with a balloon inside and the balloon uh, gently inflates and deflates and gently pushes all of the juice out of the grapes without breaking down any of the stems or the seeds because that will give the juice a really bitter flavor. And we'll have a hose connected to, um, to the press that comes down here into our production area. Um, all of the whites will go directly into the stainless steel vats that you see behind us here. Um, and they will be sealed off right away because we don't want any oxygen getting into the juice because that'll create the juice to oxidize and it'll affect the color and the flavor of the wine. The reds we put into open air vats um, and we re-add all of the skins and stems that we took out outside to the juice and that will give the reds the color as well as the tannin structure. And then there once uh, they stay there for about a week to three weeks and then we remove all of the skins and the stems and they go into the stainless steel tanks as well. All right, and then they get bottled after that? And then they get bottled, yes. Bottled, corked, labeled, and then eventually brought upstairs to the tasting room. Amazing, <laughs> so let's go to the tasting room and try out some wine. Let's go. <laughs> so Jessica, what are we trying today? First off, we have our white rabbit. This one is a blend of Chardonnay and Vidal. Medium sweetness, you'll probably get a lot of tropical golden fruit flavors with this one. It smells really good. <laughs> I really like it. It's nice and cold. I feel like it would be perfect on a patio. Just a nice like summer wine. Absolutely. Mm, it's beautiful. The next wine is our Red Rabbit. This one is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. This one you're going to get a lot of cherry and plum flavors, medium body, nice easy sipping wine or you can also easily have it with a meal. Okay. Oh, it's very smooth. I mm -hmm. like that one as well. So why the name rabbit? Actually, Wapoose is the Ojibwe word for running rabbit. So we kind of took it as our logo. Plus, we conveniently have a petting zoo here and have rabbits running around everywhere. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's so exciting. And what is our last wine here? We're gonna finish off with our maple ice. So this one is a Vidal-based ice wine. And after the fermentation process, we infused it with our own homegrown maple syrup. Oh, that sounds delicious. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try this with me? Sure. Cheers. Makes you want dessert. <laughs> it's very desserty. It's a very sweet wine. I would, would you call it an, a dessert wine? Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. It's delicious. You have to try this. <laughs> So, I'm here with Jessica. Thank you so much today. Thank you. I'm Kai with Myriad Group. And if you want more info or to place an order, you can check us out on the app, Myriad Group. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>